Bismillah. Okay. Uh, I start with the second sentence. No, well, no oh. problem. Let's start with the second sentence. Bismillah, the Shaykh Al Rajim, Bismillah, Rabbi Al Rahim. Kul ya ayyuhal kafirun. Okay. Do you want me to explain this? Yeah, one by one. Kul, say. Katakanlah. Yeah. Ya ayyuhal. Huh? Wahai. Okay. Al kafirun. Okay. Kafirun, these believers, but wawnun relates to the plural. Plural. Okay, but uh, you tell me also, cool, singular, address, I mean, say, ordering, like that, okay? Uh, second person, like that. And then, yeah, is like addressing, okay? The second verse, who is going to tell me the second verse? Okay, tell me, Bismillah. <coughs> La a'abudu ma ta'abudu, okay? La means no. La means no. A'abudu. I worship means I don't worship. Okay, it is singular or plural? Singular. Third person or second person? First person. <laughs> just, just, just don't believe me. <laughs> okay. Okay. La abudu. Ma. What? What? Not no. No, no, I will explain later. It's what? Okay? What you worship? Tabudura, right? You all worship. Is it third person and first person? Second person. Second person, okay. Second person singular or dual? Singular. Plural, okay. Not dual, okay. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Then, third verse, another brother or sister. Quick, quick, quick. Bismillah, Baraka. Sayyidi Uwila Makhiratin. Fastabitul Khairat. We in competition for good deeds. Try, Bismillah. Okay, sister. Wala antum abidu nama abud. Okay, Bismillah, one by one. Wala antum wa in. And? No. Antum you all. Okay, you explain a little. Like anta, anta, antum. Plural, second person, like that. Pronoun. Okay, clarify. Okay. Okay, pull it up. Abiduna. Abiduna, is it singular or plural? Is it a small mafool or a small file? File. A small file means the pattern, follow this pattern. Abid chakil, all a small file. File, abid chakil, like that, okay? So it's full five. Plural. Okay, ma? What? Okay. Abudu. I or she. Second person or third person? First person. Okay, another verse. Another brother or sister. Quick, quick, quick. Bismillah. I told you you start with Bismillah. Allah will help you. Okay. And not? Anna? Okay, Saya? Abidun. Is one file or a full? File. Is one file. Singular or plural? Singular. Ma abatum. Abatum. Is it past or, uh, or present? Past. Maudi. Past. Okay. Ma abatum. Okay, so Ola and Abidu ma abatu. Ola and Tuma Abidu na ma abut, no need because it's like from another one. I mean, we need it, but not for translation or discussion. Lakum di nukum waliyadin. Raise the hand. Raise the hand and tell me the last one. Bismillah. Lakum. Second person. Plural or singular? Plural. Di nuko. Plural also. Second person. Second person plural. Okay. Nakum di nuko. Wa. No. Wa. And. And then. Liya actually li, but in the Quran we have some differences in ilmu tajwid, ilmu kiraa. We have some explanation. We I don't have the time to go with that one. Okay. Like Malik and Malik. 
Okay, there are some differences. It is little bit higher level. Okay, no need. Well, yeah, just remember it's li. Okay, but in the Quran, liya, liya. We cannot say li. We cannot ch change. Okay. Well, yeah. Din. Okay, you understood it. It also, actually, it is also dini. But as we are ending here, it's din. Akum din akum. dini. But we follow the Quranic style, okay? The tasbih al qira'ah, al qira'ah. Lakum di nukum, waliya di. Lakum di nukum, waliya di. Alhamdulillah, that means you help me not to talk a lot about it, you talk, alhamdulillah. So, the teaching of this one is already you practice in your multicultural society because you could not, I mean, you cannot do everything as you liked. Even before uh, when Malaysia became independent, you had some condition, you have to agree, okay? So based on all this, you have to maintain your relationship with other, okay? So Allah already gave the formula. How to maintain the relationship with other? Very simple. Do your job, I do my job, but don't disturb. But it is also true, Alhamdulillah, the people I mean, from other beliefs are safe in Muslim countries, but Muslims are not safe. Sorry to say. And yesterday, Ustad mentioned name of the, I mean, most influential person of the world. Okay, yesterday he mentioned. Okay, so this is true. Muslims in India, Muslims in Myanmar, Muslims in uh, yeah, Thailand, Muslims in other places, Philippines. Yeah, Allah, they cry, but. In Muslim countries, it is rare, it is really rare that, I mean, uh, they are not getting their rights. Even in Bangladesh, for example, sorry to say, we are more than 90%, but the 10%, they are dominating in some cases because of the help of India, okay, support of India. So 90% we feel weak. Yeah, this is true. I mean, Alhamdulillah, Malaysia is still, you have balance. You have balance. May Allah give you, um, put you in peace all the time, so that you, all the races, you stay together peacefully, no fighting. Because, uh, I mean, we don't need to fight, I mean, unnecessarily. When any ulama or, for example, the grand imam of Kaaba, for example, uh, gives any, 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 any announcement, then we follow. Don't misuse the term jihad or like this. Don't, I mean, follow the people who are misguided, like ISIS, all this. Please, please, no. You have to follow the command of your ulul am, uh, ulul, uh, ulul am, okay? So, please don't be misguided by any other explanation. Be in peace when it will be called by the authority, actual authority. Only then you move forward. Otherwise, no fighting, no fighting, okay? May Allah give us the feet to maintain Peace in our society all the time, okay? Inshallah. Uh, oh, we say Amin, actually. Sometimes I mistakenly absent-mindedly I say Inshallah. I mean, when about the dua, we say Amin. So now, we go to page number 44. Page number 44 is, we have 44 and 45, we have some more, uh, more marks. I told you already that some verses changes in their pattern. For example, Fataha, it was okay. But, I mean, Da'ala, it was okay. We learned last, in last chapter, right? Did you forget the meaning of Fathon? What is the meaning of Fathon? What is the meaning of Da'alun? To make, okay? To make, Da'alun, to make. Okay, I will disturb you a lot. Because now you are going to learn new, new words. And this new word will help you to make 140 different sentences, right? So it's not easy job. So onward, it will give you 140 benefits. So that's why I have to check whether you are okay or not, okay? Jalun to me, jalun to me, jalun to me, jalun to me. Pathroom to open, pathroom to open. Memorize. Inshallah, Allah will help you. Now we have some more practices from other verbs. Nasara. I start with, with uh, Madi, no problem, but Madari, we have changes. Madi, Nasara. Can you try with Nasara? Nasara. Excellent. 
excellent than yan suru. I help you. If I tell you on, it will be enough. Just suru, suru, not soru. Suru. Yan suru, yan suru na. Tan suru, tan suru na. An suru, nan suru, tan suru. Look, in my class, in last Ramadan, not this Ramadan, I mean another Ramadan. No, not this Hajj, before the Hajj time. In UIA, I had a class around 350 people. And then we had one Tansiri. Tansiri from the Mansara, Tansiri uh, Razak, I, as I remember. So, I was joking with him. Okay, so, not, don't look at Tansiri Razak and say Tansiri. No, you have to say Tansuru. Okay? <laughs> Because if you don't help the poor people, you cannot claim your Tansiri. First, Tansuru, then Tansiri, okay? Okay? Tansuru, then you go for higher level, okay? You help the people, then Tansiri, inshallah, okay? So, I don't know any Tansiri here or not, but if anybody, please help the people, okay? Okay? Not only to hold the name. Okay, Bismillah. Yansuru, Yan suru na, tan suru, tan suru na, an suru, nan suru, tan suru. Again, again, what are they? Yan suru, yan suru na, tan suru, tan suru na, an suru, nan suru na, tan suru. Not nan suru na, it's nan suru, nan suru only. Okay? An suru, nan suru, tan suru. Then Amar? Amar is order. Am, fair Amar, okay? Unsur, unsuru. La tansur, la tansuru. Nasir, mansur, nasrur. Again? Nasir, mansur, nasrur. Nasir, mansur, nasrur. Apa mana nasrur? To help. Tiga kali. Nasrul to help. Nasrul to help. Nasrul to help. If you forget, it's an unfortunate because yesterday also we had surahs. Is a jaya nasrul wali walpa. Nasrul help. Okay, nasrul to help. Okay. Sometimes nasrul can be used as now to only help. Okay. Like is a jaya nasrul Allah help. Okay. But if you use that verbal now, then to help. Okay. Nasrul to help, okay? Please remember it. Then another word we have. Khalaqa. You understand khalaqa or not? You understand? MashaAllah. That means this is, I mean, excluded from our 125. Okay? So anyway, excluded, then I include some new words, inshallah. Because we said that 125 words we are going to teach, but the words you already know. So, we increase some more words? Yes? Inshallah. <laughs> Don't worry, I will not increase any more. Only 125 words came in the Quran, it occupied 40,000 words. Okay, Allah Akbar. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. That's why yesterday you were smiling when I said, you just learned 1,300 words. Some of you are looking how? Because of this. Meaning that we count even the repeated words. Repeated words. Means suhua or mean or any other word came in the Quran, we count. Because when you open that any page, you don't look at, I mean, is it root word, it is original, I mean, you don't look like that. You just see whether you understand or not. That's why we are focusing on easy technique. Okay? Bismillah. Now, we go to another word. Khalaqa. Alhamdulillah, you know the meaning of khalaqa. So, what is the meaning of khalqun? Verbal noun? To create. To create. Khalqun means to create. So, as you already absorbed 80 basic forms, and in other words, 140 different forms, then you have to be ready. If I say khala, if I say makhluk, if I say ukhluk, if I say la takhluku, you have to understand. Inshallah, try to, try to remember, inshallah, okay? So, Bismillah, maadi, maadi means past. Maadi, past. Khala ta, khala tu, 
Kolakta Kolaktu Kolaktu Kolakna Kolakot Well done, well done Then, mudare Yakhluku Yakhlukun Takhluku Takhlukun Akhluku Nakhluku Takhluku Excellent, okay Then Amal Ukhluk Ukhluku La takhluk لا تخلقه خالق مخلوق خلق خالق مخلوق خلق اوكي ان شاء الله ناو وي هاف انذر وورد ريسكي دو يو نو ذا ريسك ريسك يو انديرستاند ذا مينينغ اوف ريسك ما شاء الله يو نيفر فورجيت ات رايت بيكوز اف يو فورجيت ريسكي يا الله يو كانوت ستي 2 3 دايز ويزاوت ريسكي That's why you all the time remember, yeah, risky, risky, risky. Even I see, well, even I don't understand Malay, but I understand Imam is dua, making dua, no, dua, risky, kamu, I understand that asking risky, okay? <laughs> Allahumma zutna, in Bahasa Malayu, okay? Oh, Allah give us risky, risky like that, okay? Risky halal like that. So this tool, you decide, please never forget it. Then <laughs> the problem, okay? So, Razaka, start Razaka again. Razaqa, Razaqu, Razaqta, Razaqtu, Razaqtu, Razaqna, Razaqat. What are you? Yerzuku, Yerzukun, Tarzuku, Tarzukun, Arzuku, Narzuku, Tarzuku. Well done, well done, okay? Then, Urzu, Urzuku, La Tarzu, La tarzuku Then Razik Marzu Rizkun Tell me loudly so that I give you lunch back very quickly, okay? Not before time, still we have 30 minutes Razik Marzu Rizkun Okay, inshallah Okay, then Zikrun Zikrun, you understand Zikrun? Azikuruni Azikurukum Ashkuruli wala takurun Allahu Akbar If you fall in love of Allah Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar You will enjoy your affairs with Allah Azkuruni Azkurukum Ashkuruli wala takurun Allahu Akbar This verse makes me so emotional Look you are supporter of any political party, it's Israel. Even you are in government staff, you have the right to vote, right? That means you can choose your leader. Okay or not? It's true. It's a democratic system, you do like that. But is there any leader who knows, who can remember this million of supporters' names and everything and know your problem anytime? Can any, any leader do like this? Tunmati or even, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the present, uh, who is this? Najib. Yeah, Najib Tunrajak or any other can, can do it like this. Cannot, cannot, cannot. Okay? Because limited capacity, limited capacity, they are also human beings. They have to depend on their intelligence agencies, all other security forces. They inform you, okay, this person is very strong there. Only then you get the nomination, something like that, right? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what did he say? Azikuruni, azikurukum, azikuruni, azikurukum. You remember me, I will remember you. Allah, it makes me cry. It's not easy job that the all who is controlling the world and I remember I am just a single human being all of the billions of people and I remember Allah He will remember me Did you think about it? If you think you will cry now How come? He has lot of things to do He have to manage lot of affairs but He declared You remember me, I will remember you Allah Akbar I cannot forget because I found that Allah remembered me. I found it is true, hundred percent true. It's practical. It's not belief. It's practical. I found I remembered Allah. Allah remembered me. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. 
I just tell you one example of it. Yesterday I told you about Umrah, but what was the reason I did not tell you? <coughs> when I was coming to Malaysia, I mean, my, from my university taking the leave, and uh, just that year my mother was so sick. I mean, she had, I mean, heart disease, diabetes, all these problems. So she was crying, my children, I had a dream that I, want, I wanted to go to Makkah, Madina. I never went, so main drop, I mean, like this emotional, uh, you know, uh, appeal. I was in Bangladesh, you know, even I was an assistant professor at the time also, but salary is very limited and not, uh, no savings. Also, I am planning to come to Malaysia for further study. All this, I have to meet all these expenses, for example, because even we cannot get very good amount from the government. Anyway, so my mother, uh, I finally decided that whatever, uh, because there is a challenge that I go or my parents go, okay? What I do, I took some loans from the university, like we have PF, you have also provident fund, right? Yeah, so from provident fund, I took some loans, and then I sent them. I said, you go. Uh, my mother said, no, I don't want to go without you. I said, no, I don't have that capacity. I don't want to take more loans without my capacity, you go. So I sent my parents. This made them so happy. You know, because I even sacrificed myself, okay? So she was praying, especially my mother. Father, because she, he performed earlier, once, two times, other times. Because, uh, I mean, uh, with the government also, he, he performed. Mother very, very happy. So in Malaysia last year, when she found that okay, my family, my wife, children left Malaysia, okay, because we decided, because I am also planning. And then say my mother said, Shari, this is your time, you have to go. I said, I don't have money, you don't suffer. No, I said, you help me, I will help you by the <laughs> okay. Allah Akbar, believe me. He said, and within 15 days, this is show, everything is done, complete. So why I am telling you, just believe in Allah sincerely, sincerely, sincerely. Remember Allah sincerely with the hope. Because there is, it is also a condition to make your dua accepted by Allah, if you have the hope, if you have positive. That's why I told you that, Amin, Amin. We need to say, we need to be positive. You make dua, but you are absent-minded. You are making dua and you think, no, maybe it is not accepted. No. Be positive all the time. Allah will accept your dua. Allah remembered me. Allah allowed me to perform Umrah at least, okay? So inshallah, in future, Allah will allow me to do some more other activities, inshallah. Azkuruni, azkurukum. Oh, my servants, remember me. I will remember you. Please, 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 try to make it as your formula. Write on your paper, write on the wall. Azkuruni, azkurukum. Ashkuruni, wala takfurun. Okay? And if Allah remembers you, who can disturb you? Who can create the problem? No one. So try to be connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ashkuruni, ashkurukum. You hopefully you will never understand, never forget the meaning of zikrun. Okay? Please remember the meaning of zikrun. Let's start practicing with zikrun. We practice with the razaqa, we practice with khalaqa, we practice with nasara. What is the meaning of nasra? Help, to help. What is the meaning of khalqur? To create. What is the meaning of riskur? Risky, to provide. Risky. What is the meaning of fathun? What is the meaning of janalun? To make. Please remember, because we are approaching to our final test. Okay, before I make dua, I will check what happened to you. Inshallah, you will answer me correctly, Inshallah. That's why, even if you are confused, please, when you take lunch, please do the revision. Just by, your, I mean, just uh, try to remember, Inshallah. Let's start Zakara. Zakara, Zakaru, Zakarta, Zakartu, Zakartu, Zakarna, Zakara. Okay, again. Zakara, Zakaru, Zakarta, Zakartu, Zakartu, Zakarna, Zakara. Modare? Yazkuru, Yazkuru, Tazkuru, Tazkuru, Azkuru, Tazkuru, 
تذکرو اما اذکر اذکرو لا تذکر لا تذکرو ذاکر مذکر ذکرو ذاکر مذکر ذکرو Before I go to another chapter, can I check whether you absorbed the meaning or not? Like last chapter, I tested by two sentences. La tajal ma Allah ila na. Alhamdulillah, you passed. Okay, you are successful. Also, I tested you by another sentence. Inni jail fila te khalifa. You passed. So now, can I check whether you are okay with these four words or not? Bismillah. Fakir, fakara. Have you heard this word? Fakir, fakir, fakir. Poor people. Fakara is plural. If I ask you what is the meaning of Ayyuhal Hadirun Ayyuhal Hadirun Unsuru Al-Fukhara All the presents help the Yeah, poor people. Alhamdulillah. Very good. You already passed. Okay? Give them certificate. Inshallah. <laughs> Sila give them kindly. Okay? لا تذكر الشيطان. Don't remember شيطان. اذكر الله كثيرا كثيرا كثيرا. Remember الله 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 الله. ما شاء الله. يا كلكم عرب ما شاء الله. أنا عرب وأنتم عرب. أنتم عربيون ما شاء الله. جزاكم الله. So now another one. اللهم ارزقنا فإنك خير الرازقين. What is the meaning? Oh Allah, give us. Very good, you understand. Urzuk amor, right? Urzuk amor. اللهم ارزقنا. Together we say اللهم ارزقنا. Oh Allah, give us رزق. فإنك فا تاس أو سو. Indeed you. Indeed you, in Naka, indeed you, Khairur Razitin. Razitin is singular or plural? Plural. Khairur Razitin, the best of the providers of risky. Your authority is giving only the salary. But Allah is giving you this breathing capacity, listening, observing, understanding. All this capacity is giving you all the time. He's not charging anything. But you have to do your job, 8 hours, 12 hours, 10 hours, otherwise no salary. Okay? But Allah is not asking from you salary. Just remember Allah. Praise Him, you will be happy. Okay? So, Alhamdulillah, you are okay. Now the last part I test you by help. Okay? Ayyuhal Hadirun. Kulluna. Kulluna. Makhluquna. Allahu huwa al-Khaliq. Did you understand? Oh, are the presence all of us and Mahlo. Okay, and who is Khalik? Allah is Khalik. So let's make another song. Allah Khalikuna, Ahuwa Razikuna, Ahuwa Raz Nasiruna. Now you understand? Allah is our creator. Allah is the one who helps us. Allah is the one who provides the risk. Make your own sentences. Inshallah, Allah will tell you. We we'll go to another chapter. Azan and Odu, Inshallah, then we we'll go for prayer. Today, it is decided, right, that we will take, we will pray together first, okay? Because yesterday, I made a mistake, okay? I, I said that, okay, we makan first, then salat, then jama'ah was small. I even prayed early, then you prayed in different jama'ah. Okay, so now, inshallah, today we go directly to Salah and then we makan makan. Okay, inshallah. Bismillah, we go to another chapter. This chapter is chapter 14, Azan. Azan, then Odu, or Odu and then uh, some related prayers. Then we go uh, for grammar one, then we go for prayer. Azan, the words of Azan is very familiar to all of you. Even Muslimat, also no problem. You also listen to the Azan, right? Alhamdulillah, you are not like in America or other places where Azan is restricted only by sound box inside the box. In Masjid, no. We have the open, so we listen the Azan words. But, even maybe you understand the words of Azan, but 
the focus of my course is I try to make you feel. You, I try to focus on feeling, spirituality, connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So every single word in Azan you recite or listen. If you feel, then you will go quickly to prayer. Uh, pray. If you don't feel that, then maybe still, okay, I have more things to do. <laughs> then maybe even make kada, I mean, means cannot perform on that one time, stop. No, 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 no. Surrender to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, try your best to set it, make him satisfied. Okay, inshallah. So let's have a look at the meaning of Azan words. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. We are telling this, declaring this one, Azan, declaration, announcement, okay? It's not just only inviting, Azan is like declaring. We are declaring that Allah is the greatest. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. Do you really feel that? Or your, you, you feel that your office words is greater than this invitation? Yeah, Allah. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. May Allah give us the balance. Okay? You do. Try. Because sometimes you are chatting, talking, talking, talking. That's why you all the lords are now. Then you try to uh, avoid your prayer time. Your office gave you time one hour in that. But that time also you are because you did not walk, do the job on time, other time. Okay? Please maintain your time. And when Azan is called, go. Inshallah, Allah will. Allahu Akbar, he is the greatest, no other power, no other thing. Ashhadu, I declare witness, I declare shahada, I declare the witness, and that la ilaha illallah, there is no ilah except Allah. I already talked about ilah, so I will not talk again. Just recently I talked, right? So I think it is clear, okay? La ilaha illallah, we don't have any ilah except Allah. I don't like to use God. God is not perfect word as a translation of Ilah. Okay? Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. I also declare witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I think it's very clear. No need to talk a lot. Very clear. Ayyal al-salah. Come to prayer. Ayyal al-falah. Come to success. This point I will talk, but I finish first, then I talk. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah. Clear? Now let me talk about only about this part, Hayyala Salah, Hayyala Salah. Then I go to grammar part. Because all other I already talked. Allahu Akbar, Ashad la ilaha illallah. Or maybe I will talk about some other points. Just let me talk about Hayyala Salah, Hayyala Salah. Success, right? There is a word fala, success or, sp or pr pr prosperity. What is the relationship with salah and success? Because salah, it kills your time. You are going there, you cannot do your business for a long time, you, can, you are losing your customers, you are losing the money. So how? How? Tell me. How you say it is true? It is true azan, it is true declaration that you come to Salat, you will be successful. Can anybody take the challenge? Yes, sisters. I am taking the challenge. Yes. Salat is giving us the success. Give me. Bismillah, I came to you, you tell me. <laughs> Discipline, okay? Any other answer? <laughs> yeah, reporting to the Khairul Razi The best provider of this job is Allah. It's not my business. It's just media only. So, we are reporting to him that we are following you. So, inshallah, it will bring success. Any other answer? Okay. Allah is the problem solver. Allah will solve all the problems. For example, even if I close my shop, even in one calculation, it may create some problems that customer will wait, but no, no worries. Allah will give you more customers. Allah will solve your problems. Any other answer? Yes? The mighty of the, the other Almighty Allah. Okay, okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Almighty. Qadirun ala kulli shay. He is controlling all the affairs. So there will be no problem. He will give me the success also. Okay? 
Very good answers. So let me discuss a little also. Measurement of success or measurement of development for a believer and for a non-believer is not same. For example, recently Malaysian government implemented Makasit Sharia Index. Do you know that? Do you know that Makasit Sharia Index government started to, to check what is the level of Makasit Sharia in Malaysia. I, I hope some of you maybe did not know, but if you published in newspaper, you can also check Makasit Sharia in Malaysia like that, then you will find it. You have, we have Human Development Index, okay? by United Nations. United Nations, they have measurement of development. They have like criteria, three or five criteria, like income, then your, your, your average, I mean age, okay, health, education. These are the criteria of development. They calculate, they measure the development by your age. How is the average age of the people? Because by this they indicate about your healthy life, okay? That means you die very quickly, it is a bad symbol. So, third, uh, 70, 80, like that, then they say, okay, they maintain their healthy life, okay? So, health, education, income, uh, all this, they, this is their human development index. But in Islam, it's more. For example, Imam Ghazali, Rahmanullah, he gave Makasit Sharia. It covers lot of things, lot of things, okay? So, what I wanted to tell you, that success for a believer and success for a non-believer is not same. I already told you in another lecture that we are more visionary, we are more, uh, we are ultramodern because we are talking about couple, we are talking about Akira, all this. They don't have this vision. So they think all the buildings, only the infrastructure, these are the symbols of development. No. Our development, actually, if you reach if you can make your heart reach, then you are developed. Our development is not measured by this infrastructure only. Not this twin tower, not the other buildings, no. This is a symbol, this is part, this is part of our development. I am not telling that okay, it is not part, it is partial development. But it will be fulfilled, it will be complete development when you develop your heart. Okay. So development in Islam, development in a, a believer's life is not same as development in other religions or other non-believers' lives, okay? Very clear. Success also like this. Success, it depends if you are connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you follow him as he told us in Surah Muhammad, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَى اللَّهِ مُعْرِضُونَ وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِلزَّكَاةِ فَاعِلُونَ Ya Allah, Allah clearly mentioned what is the criteria of success? You pray nicely, sincerely, attentively, you avoid all the unnecessary things and then you pay your zakah, you don't commit zina, all these are mentioned. Then Allah said, these are the people who are successful. And what was the surah I told you last time? Surah, I mean the 15 criteria of Gurfa. Uh, surah Furqan. Surah Furqan. Surah Furqan. Maybe somebody will remember. Uh, no, no, this is Surah Mu'min. No? In another surah, another surah Allah mentioned 15, around 15 criteria of the people, they will get the highest rank after Ambiya, after Siddiqin Shuhada. They will get very good rank, Gurfa, a special room in Jannah. They have 15 criteria in the last verses of Surah Furqan. You can note down, I don't have the time. You can check the verses and then have that criteria to be the highest level in Jannah. Okay? So, why I am telling you? These are the criteria of success because we are believers. So, when you are coming to Salah, that means you are connecting yourself with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are connecting your ways to high highway, okay? Like Sirat al Mustaqim, okay? So you will be ultimately you will be successful. That's why Salat is successful because Salat is kunci jannah. Salat is mehrajul mukminin, okay? Clear? So no confusion. Salat success 
is related, is highly related. If your salah is not good, problem. Because awwalu ma yuhasabu yuhas yuhasabu bi al-abdu yawm al-qiyamati as-salah. The first thing Allah will ask you about your amal is salah. So please make it perfect, make it as I mean in a standard format so that Allah will be happy. May Allah be happy with all of us. Say Ameen. Ameen. Now we go to page number 48, 45, we start our Muslim with Bismillah. Uh, I already talked about Bismillah Rahman Rahim yesterday, right? So I will not take any more time. Now we go to the dua after we finish our our wudu. What do we recite? We recite Ashadu Allah ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika la. Also no need to explain because I already explained right now, right? So no problem. Okay, only the meaning of wahdahu alone Allah. What is the meaning of Allah alone? Means Allah is alone to who is worthy of worship. Or as a ilah, Allah is alone. As a ilah, Allah is alone. Allah is never alone. He is surrounded by a lot of, I mean, angels, lot of other. Okay, but alone means he is alone as ilah. Okay? Allah is alone as ilah. There is no other ilah. La sharika la. There is no partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. And also, we declare the shahada that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and his messenger. Then we pray. In this, uh, this dua, we have two parts, but in Malaysia, usually you memorize three parts, right? Allahumma jalli min al-tawabina wa jalli min al-mutatahirin wa jalli min ibadika salihin. As you already memorized the dua, please try to understand. What are you telling? Allahumma, oh Allah. Okay, you help me because I already taught you a lot. Now, my students should be uh, the teachers, okay? So, Bismillah, tell me. Allahumma, what is the meaning of Allahumma? Oh Allah, ij'alni, ij'alni, make me, minat tawwabina, from or among, among the people, among is better, okay, in English translation, among the people who make tawba a lot, a lot, tawba, okay, is emphasizing, okay, this will be mobile. What Ali and make me, minal mutatahirin, who purify themselves, okay, who purify themselves. What Ali and make me, min ibadika, Aswalihin, among the, among your righteous or good servants, righteous servants. Very clear? Alhamdulillah. Clear, the translation is clear, but it is clear, heart is clear? Yes, inshallah. Come it's not funny. Make dua, make wudu, you are releasing yourselves from some of the sins, then raise the hand. Oh Allah. Oh Allah, I declare the shahada again. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahdahu la sharika la wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh Allahumma ja'alni min al-tawabina wa ja'alni min al-mutatahirin wa ja'alni min ibadika salih You are telling Allah, oh Allah, give me, put me or select me as a person who made tawbah a lot You allow me to be in the group of people who purify But your habit is opposite, then it's a problem. So that's why I told you, try and try. Not only just dua. At a time you have to follow what are you telling. You are talking about tawba, make tawba a lot. You are talking about tahara, purify yourself. Don't be lazy, sleep without wudu, without purification. No, purify yourself. All the time try to be in, in pure situation, except some conditions that is allowed. We have the fatwa, we have the discussion about it. But normal situation, try to maintain your taha. Make wudu, make uh, that always of purification. Also, oh Allah, make me among the people who are righteous. So you do righteous deeds. Whatever you in your mind, okay, you said the Quran, do sadaqa, help the poor people, help your parents. Do whatever you can do. Okay? Then Allah will be happy. Oh, this is not just asking. 
He is also trying to make more Tawba. He is also trying to purify him or herself. He is also, also, she is also trying to, I mean, do more and more Amul Saleh. Okay? Then Allah will easily accept your Dua. But if you, if we do the hypocrisy, <laughs> meaning that we say something, do the opposite, then Allah will be angry. Allah will not accept our Dua. Okay? This is how maximum of our Dua are not accepted because what we say, what we do, maximum time, or sometimes it is opposite. Allah doesn't like it. Kabura maktan inda Allahi anta kulu maala tafalun. It is a great sin to Allah subhanahu wa big sin to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to say something that you don't do. Ya Allah, may Allah forgive us, may Allah allow us to practice whatever we are saying here or other times. Say Amin. Amin. We have some